Okay, pardon the mess, but pardon all the mess, but as of with anything that's under construction, we're going to have a mess here. Anyway, just let me show you how I did these rollers. This goes on the track. Now this is for the trolley lift system for the elderly. I got a mother-in-law that we're going to be using this system to uh, transport her from her bedroom to the shower. And another thing that I come up with, but you see how we did, I'm still going to cut those, cut these right here off, shorten them a little bit because I don't want it no more than a, I'm going to run that nut all the way up as far as it'll go. So it'll lift the uh, hoist a little bit higher to give us some more uh, range of lift from the ceiling. And, uh, but anyway, and all these nuts right up under here, these are regular nuts. I'm gonna replace these with lock nuts so they don't, they can't back off. But anyway, that's it there and that will ride. Let me show you. I've got this track up right now, but only temporarily. This right here, I gotta put a cap over this so that uh, when we're rolling this, this is her bedroom that we're standing in now. This is going, that over there is uh, the, a new bathroom that's under construction already. That's the shower stall right there. So I had to, you can see where I had to cut the sheetrock out in the ceiling. And um, I went ahead and installed one L bracket right here on the very end of this track. And you can see where the bolt is up there. And you actually got a lock nut right there too. So that's installed. And then you can see up here on top, I got a bolt, half inch bolt that goes straight up through the track to the top and then bolts to the top of that that uh, L bracket. That is gonna be plenty of strong. In fact, I've already checked it out and it supports my weight with no problem. Right now, temporarily, those L brackets are just sitting up there. I put one on the very end here and then you'll see a track joint bracket. Okay, I've just got this track right here slid into this bracket for temporarily. And if you look up underneath, you can see those two holes. They've got like Allen screws that screws down into those holes. And that locks them in together, which is pretty neat. Just on the other side of this joint right here, I've got another L bracket right there. And you can see, you can see all that right there. It's, let me go on the other side of it. You can see the bolt. In that one okay now and now I got another one here so this track is level right here on the very end this is going into the shower right here so let me step in here and I've got this L bracket just sitting up there right now I put this track up to get it level then I can set this L bracket up in here and I can take a marker and mark the holes where to drill them at in the top of the track and into the uh, rafter or the ceiling toys rather. Okay. Once I get these holes marked up in here, I'm going to take this track back down. And once I get the L brackets in, then I'm going to go back and patch this sheetrock and, and mud it in. This 2x4, I'm either going to have one split out, so I may just cut it out 
and then replace it and keep it there because this is going to be temporarily. And then I'll take sheetrock and box it in like it's a beam. Make it nice transition. And one reason I think I'm going to do that is because when I took this wall out, I found out that this ceiling right here is actually a little bit higher than this one here going into this bedroom. So I'm going to just box it in that way, you know, you just won't see it. And also it's going to be temporary anyway, because uh, eventually I may put a door in here somewhere. So I don't know. We'll see. And it may wind up staying like this. I don't know yet. It depends. But this is the trolley lift system. And um, we're going to use a chair to where, and I'll show videos, videos of that later, but uh, where that my mother-in-law can sit in. And then the hoist will be able to uh, lift her up. And all it's got to do is just lift about eight, nine inches off the floor where just enough to clear that lift in the shower on the bottom and where she can we can just set her into the shower and then my wife can do her thing when she gets done we'll just lift her out take her back into the bedroom back here we'll probably have the be uh, bedroom somewhere right around this track system right in the middle of the room or somewhere to where she can just we can swing her feet over we can get her to sit in the chair and then we'll just lift her up and slide her into the shower. So anyway, um, so let's kind of get back one more and get a shot of the track. Going all the way in the shower, that's 16 foot long. That's two eight foot sections. And I think that's going to work super fine for what we need. Make things a lot easier. Um, tell me your thoughts. If you have any ideas, um, I would really appreciate it. And uh, most of all, uh, hit the like button. If you like this, uh, share it. Uh, with people that you know that may may need a system like this. Uh, actually, I'm building this system for probably around three hundred to three hundred and fifty dollars, which is not a bad not bad deal. If you had to go out and buy something like this, you'd probably spend fifteen hundred to two or three, maybe even two or three thousand uh, dollars. Save you some money anyway. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to my videos. See you later.